Glenn Parker High Vibration Foundation. You're watching Glenn TV. So I just went to Sprouts. Excuse me, I just went to Trader Joe's. Left some ginseng under my tongue. From time to time, it's nice um, before you do a workout. Ginseng is synthetic genocides. Well, it says genocides, it's synthetic hormones. It's synthetic testosterone for men. I find a better workout and better sex drive. And it's just a little tiny piece of uh, Pamplex uh, ginseng. So I'm about to go into Whole Foods. I was just at Trader Joe's. I go to this place called Sprouts, which is on the West Coast, and the prices are twice what Trader Joe's are on a lot of things, like especially organic produce. And I remember the last time that I went to Whole Foods that you got twice the amount of lemons and limes for organic ones for the same price. So I already stocked up at Trader Joe's pretty well at the price point that they had. But I'm going to go inside and uh, take a look to see just for future shopping sake, like where do I do most of my shopping? Like I came away with like organic walnuts that were a decent price from Trader Joe's. And I think everything was organic that I got, but like one thing of mixed nuts. I didn't have any mixed nuts that were organic. So I'm gonna check out Whole Foods and do a little bit more running around. I saw the doctor day today for a kind of a modern day chiropractic, which is called OMM. It's like a stretching. And it really works well over time. And he does some of the things that a modern chiropractor would do. Like doing the, the press down on the back, the pop and whatnot. But he doesn't do the really aggressive stuff. But it really, I'm walking better. We stretched out my leg a little bit. So let's go see what's going on as we're running around today. It's a beautiful day. You can see it's 70 degrees as a high today. It's a little warm in the sun. But this morning when I took off and went to the doctor, it was a little chilly and cloudy. So it's the first day in months and months and months and months and months that I've actually had a long sleeve on. I forgot how epic Whole Foods is. Check this out. You can buy anything and everything pre-made. I used to live blocks from a Whole Foods in uh, Redondo Beach off of PCH. And that was the most awesome time of my life. Jump on my bike, go down the strand, and literally go and buy anything pre-made that you want. <laughs> they have a sushi bar in this one. Tons of stuff in here. I like that they make the brown rice sushi and I think you can just ask them for what you want. When I got out of Trader Joe's, I basically gorged on a lot of the stuff that I got and uh, in the day that I drank wine and whatnot there's like <laughs> seriously an endless supply a wino's dream to wake up here and like sleep in a cot in the corner because <laughs> I, I love red wine and I'm hoping one day, maybe every once in a while, it will agree with me, but, ugh. Oh. Ooh, we're getting into the little bit more tasty ones. Is it wrong because it's $90 I want to try it? <laughs> it's like, and I've had expensive wine 
of all sorts and champagne and whatnot. And besides Dom Perignon, like, um, which is good, but some of the cheaper wines have a better body and are tastier. So um, I used to do a lot of wine tasting, like there was a little Greek restaurant that used to do wine tasting. And some of the Greek wines are fantastic and some of them are very odd. Like there's one that was buried in the ground and they still do that to hide it from the Romans when they invaded so that they would have their wine. And it was buried by the ocean, so it tasted like sea salt and it had a pine forest by it. So it tasted like pine salt, alcoholic pine salt, salty alcoholic pine salt. It literally tasted like pine and salt. It's the freakiest wine I've ever had. And it's a very acquired taste. If you've already done a lot of wine tasting, it doesn't taste half bad. Let's go wander around. Only two people giving me the evil eye for recording in here, so let's, let's go to an area where there's, there's a lot of people over here, so I'll be back. My only other kryptonite is cheese. In another incarnation, I think I'm in a universe that's made of cheese. <laughs> because, and I'm being good, I have about five more pounds. I haven't bought cheese for a while and uh, I'm, I'm cutting out as much dairy and high fat items. Like I still have oils and stuff like that. Um, but until I get to another like five pounds or so, then all that stuff's gotta go. I haven't found anything I wanted to buy yet. I mean, I, pretty st I stocked up pretty well at Trader Joe's. Fantastic that they have organic ice cream now. It's like, you can have an indulgence and know that you're eating as healthy as humanly possible. And let me correct myself. I have found things I wanted to buy. I'm just gonna be good and not buy them. <laughs> the one thing about Trader Joe's is they sell everything in their own branded. They find other brands that work really well and then they actually manufacture and or sub-license other brands and sell it under their own license for their exclusive distribution. And, ooh, I do need, I almost need coconut oil, which I've been using for a body lotion. But not quite. The, I got this one the last time, but it's in plastic. I really do prefer glass, like food grade glass. So, but the prices at Trader Joe's are like just, they're unbeatable. They, they found a niche on all these little different products and they are, like I got 16 ounces of organic Spanish olive oil for like $5.99 or something like that. So they squeeze out these other brands and they, at this point in time, is almost all their brand and then maybe a few other major brands. But mostly, like I think 70% of what they carry is their own branded items. One thing I notice is that uh, Whole Foods is high on their nuts and stuff like that. Um, I've been looking at some of these organic farms that you can actually buy bulk. You can buy for one pound, five pounds, 20 pounds, like 50, 100 pounds, or like a freaking pallet of nuts and all kinds of varieties. So I've been looking at that and it's so much cheaper to buy like five pounds. Uh, and they're not mixed nuts. There's a couple that have mixed nuts and they're organic. You know, you can get organic farms. There's a, a couple in Canada that I found, there's some in the US and uh, they ship everywhere. So, and even with shipping, which included, was included in a lot of cases, it was a still, less expensive than, well, it was way less expensive per pound than it was to buy it like at Whole Foods or even Trader Joe's or whatnot. The one thing about Trader Joe's is they sell everything in their own branded. They find other brands that work really well and then they actually manufacture and or sub-license other brands and sell it under their own license for their exclusive distribution. And, ooh, I do need, I almost need coconut oil, which I've been using for a body lotion, but not quite. 
The, I got this one the last time, but it's in plastic. I really do prefer glass, like food grade glass. So, but the prices at Trader Joe's are like just, they're unbeatable. They, they found a niche on all these little different products and they are, like I got 16 ounces of organic Spanish olive oil for like $5.99 or something like that. So they squeeze out these other brands and they, at this point in time, is almost all their brand and then maybe a few other major brands. But mostly, like I think 70% of what they carry is their own branded items. I've been walking forever, it's like, this must be like a mega Whole Foods because there is a lot of shit in here. The one thing about Whole Foods is their variety. If it's an off little brand, but it's good, it's at Whole Foods. Like, you can find something for every taste, style. I don't know about budget because they are a little bit more on the, the they're a specialty store, so they are a little bit more on the pricier side of things. Even like this gallon, well, that's distilled water. Like, so how much is a gallon of water? So like the 365 spring water is 329. That's that's on the that's on the higher side, not real high, but still a slight little premium. I'm also in Green Valley, so that also is a factor. It's a little bit more pricey area, a more high line area, right outside of Vegas, like right outside of Vegas. So. If you work in Vegas, you can get there like in a snap of the finger, 10, 15 minutes, anywhere on the strip. One thing I notice is that uh, Whole Foods is high on their nuts and stuff like that. Um, I've been looking at some of these organic farms that you can actually buy bulk. You can buy for one pound, five pounds, 20 pounds, like 50, 100 pounds, or like a freaking pallet of nuts and all kinds of variety. So I've been looking at that and it's so much cheaper to buy like five pounds. Uh, and they're not mixed nuts. There's a couple that have mixed nuts and they're organic. You know, you can get organic farms. There's a, a couple in Canada that I found and some in the US and uh, they ship everywhere. So, and even with shipping, which included was included in a lot of cases, it was a still less expensive than well, it was way less expensive per pound than it was to buy it, like, at Whole Foods or even Trader Joe's or whatnot. They do have the My Favorite Chips in the entire universe. Paprika and blue corn. These are, like, some of the best ones in the entire universe. And nummy, 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 nummy. Um, that would be about the only thing so far. I'm not going to carry it around, but if I do get it, um, I got... Like it was 292, 29, 299 for like 16 ounces of blue corn. This is 8.1, but like the Trader Joe's brand. I might get this and mix it in, so, hmm. How did I get so cheap? I don't know, I might've been born that way, but my mom and dad did the flea markets to buy our houses. And uh, it's called the Rhodium. It was uh, an outdoor like, it was uh, one of those theaters, like, uh, I, I can't place the name, where you would go, like a drive-in. It was a drive-in. And then during the day, from early morning until afternoon, they'd convert it and then they'd clean it up. And I was a swap meet rat, so I was bargaining and buying and selling. I'd go buy stuff and put it in my lot where my parents were and resell things and uh, get a really good sense for prices early on and the buying and selling of goods. Man method, everything pre-cut, I love that. Way pricier, but if you're in a hurry, you can get that, you just bam. And you can get something, a healthy snack for the road or for lunch or any other types of things. I did have a couple things I wanted. Uh, a couple bags of green apples and some organic ginger organic, everybody. There's no sign on this. I have no idea what the hell this is. I've never seen this before. Like, what, what is that? Sweet red something. Anybody know what that is? <laughs> it has a very distinct fragrance. <laughs> so they had like um, seaweed that you can get, it was like $10 a pound, it was previously frozen and they had 
this really lovely like tuna looking salad which looked really really good like a uh, fresh salmon it had soy and wheat and other things in it as well and uh is it wrong that I'm kind of tired from all this walking? It's crazy between Trader Joe's and here. Soy and wheat. Wah. Like, I don't mind wheat so much. It's have a slight gluten intolerance. But um, the one thing I did see, which I'm also getting some of, is if you've never tried them, it's I think they're it's Asian. It's mung, M-U-N-G beans, and they have organic ones. Those are awesome. They actually have a pretty good organic variety. I was really excited that they had a juice bar here, but I went up and asked them and. The only things that are organic are the greens, mostly, and in general. Like, um, and they, today it was like the, the carrots, and then everything else is non-organic. So I'm like, so it's a mix. It's like you don't get a whole organic shake. And so your, your, your drink is like mixed with icky stuff, so to speak. At that price point, I think it all should be organic. <laughs> it was like, um, or at least give me the option of having one at a premium that's all organic. Feedback for Whole Foods. So let me get my mung beans and yum, yum, yum. I have a big, huge pot that I cook those in. Important safety tip, if you put a couple eyedroppers of, um, like for every quart, you put two drops of 2% iodine, it takes out the gas, the element that makes you gassy when you have beans. I've tried it, it works really good. I love me some eggs, but these are some expensive eggs. <laughs> So is that branding or are those awesome eggs? Anybody ever tried those or checked them out? Okay, I had to come back here because this is like every energy bar in the universe. And I like, you know, and most of these are just candy bars, really, if you read through the ingredients. Um, this is like an organic candy bar. But a very good one. <laughs> At least an organic one. And... Same brand. They make a lot of different versions of that. I'm looking for this other one that I really like. That was very nutritious. You gotta watch a lot of these too. They have soy and other additives like the, the little higher end ones. They make them smaller to try to make the price point better. And it, then you get less of a sugar impact as well. I don't see the one, they have to have it. It's just, I'm just not seeing it. I, I can't pronounce the name of it. Macro something, but they are. Very, very awesome. Again, the ones I'm looking at, you can see for the most part, they are, if you read through the ingredients, they're just, they're effectively just candy bars. They must have changed their packaging because I can't just glance at or they're like at the bottom. Oh, there they are. Like that one is very awesome. That brand is very awesome. Ingredients check out well. Um, organic, gluten-free. So for the most part, they accommodate most people. And uh, you know, they're two ounces, vegan, soy-free, non-GMO, all that good stuff. Um, for the price point, 
which is basically three dollars for the calories that you get you can mix your own nuts and because there's 34 carbohydrates in this thing so you're you're better making your own mix of nuts and other like make a trail mix or something that has like better things for you than because it is processed no matter how well and how tender you are with things when you process them and crush them into a bar they're not quite as nutritious as they once were um, it is a convenience it's great to have on hand for a quick snack but i usually have one or two of those types of things around but lately i've actually had nuts instead which are a lot more satisfying and have a diversity um, i try to keep a lot of brazil nuts for selenium for testosterone building and uh, it actually is good for the thyroid and metabolizing your thyroid like uh, for your free T3, T4 and breaking and metabolizing that. So I think mixed nuts basically are better and cheaper. And here's where all health food stores make their money. Like they're a little high on a lot of things like j raw protein and stuff like that. But they put sale prices on key items, but everything as a whole is almost retail. So. But this is a great Whole Foods, you can get juice, you can get seafood, you can get anything, you get pre-made stuff. Um, Whole Foods as a whole is lovely and I love them. I wish I lived two blocks from here. I could just walk down here and buy my groceries and live in the back. <laughs> I wanted to show you this. That is like just weeks of work and it will be done in a few weeks. I don't know how they accomplish that. You see this stuff over here. A lot of the pieces they use nowadays are totally prefabbed, like the, the scaffolding parts of the roof and like internal parts, some structures internally are totally prefabbed and they just, they show up and it's like Legos, click, 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 and it's done. And I don't know, it's just, I've seen, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of houses go up um, in the Vegas area, Henderson area, and you know, the house we live in is, they threw it together pretty quickly, but it is a house and you know, it does its job. But it's incredible how coordinated and how fast they get these things done nowadays. So, getting ready to go home. Uh, Sleepy Camper was up early. I stopped because the school bus was in front of me and turned. I had to stop behind it and it went in front of me. And they're going to slurry the, the streets where they re-asphalt re it basically. And like they're doing like this type of thing. Where they're sealing up major cracks. And I'm glad, well, I haven't got home yet, so I don't know if my street's closed or not, but um, I'd have to wait for like another hour, hour and a half to get, get there. Like they, um, you can't drive on it for a couple hours once they do it. And that's coming up soon. I'm glad all my doctor's appointments and running around is done. I stocked up on a ton of food <laughs> uh, between Whole Foods and Trader Joe, so I can hunker down and stay in. So whatever day they choose to slurry the road, I don't have to worry about going out and running around so thank you very much for joining me glenn parker you can tell my uh glenn parker high vibration foundation you're watching glenn tv thanks for joining me today thank you for watching all 1051 of you you go up and down is like there's like eh, and then five go away and then 10 come up is like it goes back and forth back and forth back and forth so i love all of you and i thank all of you for checking me out and watching for your various reasons down below in the description there are tons of things going on find the one that speaks to your heart and not to your head and you'll find the link that speaks to you and the information you wanted in this lifetime if you do like this video please do like subscribe and share and coaching life business and spiritual if you want to raise your vibration definitely set up a session there are links down below so a cute little house but it has like this view. I'm surprised they must not have been able to do a double story because that's what I would have done. Because on the second story you would see over all these houses all the way to the Vegas Strip like 
Um, you'd be able to see it at night, and especially on a clear day, it would be just spectacular. So this lot had been empty for the last couple of years, and there's only a couple empty lots around here. There's two next to each other, which would make an awesome little paddock. Um, I think that's everything for today. It's nap time. It's like, it's like I could just close my eyes and go to sleep. It's like, bleh.